back to the number one fishing podcast in the world. In the world. We're joined today with just me and Trey. We got Norm right here, but he's not right here. He's actually out on the lake right now. We're at some big, massive hotel resort thing. We found us a little, nice little spot to conduct the podcast tonight. Dude, we actually are. There are. Can you guys see those? There's a little. No, yeah. Those little things back there. You might be able to see them. They just shoot water up randomly. So hopefully they cut them off at night. Because if not, the entire podcast equipment and setting is just going to be ruined. So. The last real deal podcast. Yeah. The last one. The last one. Well, we're waiting on Norm. Like I said, he, he went out and did a little night fishing. We've been absolutely waxing them here at this resort in Orlando. This chatterbait I've been throwing is yeah. chewed. I'm oh my you. God, dude! There he comes. There he comes. The there wild comes. fishing with Norm. But yeah, so it's it's been nuts. Uh, tomorrow, of all things, tomorrow we're actually going to Disney World. <laughs> I don't know how that came about, but uh, Disney World it is. And here he is, everybody. Here he is, everybody. Listen, he's a man of many talents. He only wants ice on his wrist, <laughs> and he's fixing to eat. The meanest hamburger. Nah, it's steak, dude. Oh, steak, steak and ribs, me. man. We went and ate at, uh, what was that place called today? Uh, Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest Cafe. It was really good. 10 out of 10. I got like a big appetizer thing. Become yeah. a little bit of everything. Delicious. Strawberry like daiquiris. Plate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Definitely cheese sticks and uh, chips, salsa, and chicken nuggets. <laughs> I got the sleeper menu item, dude. Oh, what was that? I, you got, it looked good. I'm not a pasta dude, guy, but it looked good. It was shrimp and... Creole macaroni pasta. Oh, yeah. like Tony's Creole? Yes. Ooh. It was so good. You let me have a bite. It was amazing. Yeah. I seen it like last second. I was going to order the same thing Norm got, which yeah. was the trio with the rib steak and shrimp, maybe? Yeah, rib steak and shrimp. I, wow, that sounds good. I seen. It's pretty good. <laughs> the shrimp mac and cheese, and I was like, you know what? You know what? <laughs> let me get that. <laughs> you know what? And Trey that's made the wild. right decision. Yeah, His was dude, the best. Sure. Yeah, that's wild, dude. It was dude. so good. That's, that's, uh, it, lo- it looked really good. I'm not a pasta guy. Maybe if it had some meat in it, I probably would definitely have dove into it. Uh, shrimp. Shrimp? Yeah. Mm. It's kind of meat. Like taco meat or something, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, taco meat or something. Chicken? Meat. They did have Dude, a chicken steak ravioli. They had steak, steak, steak sirloin steak on the I top I didn't look of at the ravioli. menu. Y'all looked at, bro, or something. Because <laughs> I, I done ended up with an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good, though. Nonetheless, it was absolutely delicious. And then, like, I was just got done telling them we're going to Disney World tomorrow. Of all things, Norm, all right, is going to attempt to break the world record <laughs> for most rides rode in a day <laughs> at all four Disney parks. And then, if you guys have never been to Orlando or Disney, uh, it's like sometimes could be like it could for to go to one park or from one park to the other, it could take you like somewhere between an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Sometimes just depending on transportation and all that and how far away it is, whichever one you're trying to go to. So we're going to, I guess Norm's going to try to break the record and that's going to be. Yeah. We, we decided we're going to take out, um, Gosh, but not Animal Kingdom. Uh, the Hollywood Studios. Hollywood we're, Studios, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go to the other three and try to hit all the main roller coasters because Nick, my camera guy, has never been. So oh, dude, he was geeking to, at dinner, yeah. too. He was, so he's like a kid in a Chris, uh, on a candy store. Like he, not, He's just I've wanted been it. like 10 years, so we had to. I can't remember last time. I took Bella and Gunner. Um, I, dude, I, I want to say it was like maybe February 2021, maybe. I, we just was driving through, and I was like, yeah, I want to go to Disney World. So I took them for the day, and uh, they loved it. They've been to Legoland. They've been to all that stuff, and it's, they, they, it's like – but we also only used to live two hours away, so it was very convenient to come to Disney World or, or yeah. anything like that. It was super convenient. So it was literally a day trip. But I had I had fun, so I know tomorrow all the boys. Yeah, it's going to be an too. early morning, dude. Is it? <laughs> oh, it's definitely going to be. Let me see what time it is right now. Norm, didn't you? It's like, only 10.50. It's yeah, only no, 10.50. It's, it's going to be like a uh, – not early morning, but 7. Didn't like, you like plan out seven. like our, our route? That's what I'm going to do when I, when I get back up because there's a list of all the roller coasters on the website like yeah. for each park, like every single right. ride. So I was going to pick and choose which ones are like hits and which ones are misses with YouTube like research. Try yeah. to give us the most efficient route you to know what I might every do? Disney park. We're literally speedrunning Disney World, dude. <laughs> We're I'm going like, to, bro. No bathroom breaks or nothing. Nothing. Dude, Speed old diapers. Dude. You better single Lace file line. Shoes. Yeah, single file. Hold, hold line. the no, rope. No single talking. file line. <laughs> <laughs> I just take off running. We're at a sprint, dude. We can't let you lead us though, Norm, because you'd be running fast. You got long legs. Nah, and Norm, stuff. I do have lengthy legs. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, did you ever run a forty? Or did you you do yeah, more I like a hundred? I did, but I, I couldn't even tell you the time. I've I've done all of them for sports tryouts, yeah, but yeah. I couldn't even remember. And a lot of the times for soccer, it would be like we'd run like the five k. Oh, run, like, I got you. you okay. Know, like you know, a ten yeah. mile, like yeah. longer stuff. Wow, and, that's a long ways to run. Yeah. No, that's a stroke, dude. Yeah, Once you get about three miles deep, you're like, man, I got seven to go. This sucks. 
Yeah, <laughs> it's, no, it's terrible. <laughs> it's better get fun. to stepping. Better get to step. Hey, one foot in front of the other. Think about this. Just like here's a, here's a little lesson for y'all. When I used to go on those long, long, brutal runs in the army, I just in my mind, and I, I related this to life in general too. Every single step when you go on them long runs, every single step you take is one step closer to the end or, like, to your goal. Yep. That's, yeah. I just, some weird stuff. I just randomly thought about it one time. I think I was hung over one time on, like, a nine-mile run, and my mind just started going to outer space. I was just <laughs> running. <laughs> I was like, dude, every step I take, I'm getting closer to being done. That's true. Closer to the goal. Sometimes those steps suck, though, when you're running through sand in Hawaii. It's not fun. Mm. Sounds like some rash on the feet. Yeah, a little foot rash. Oh, you guys haven't been going long. I was surprised when I came down here, you guys had already started. Mm, no, I just figured it would be cool for, like, you to walk in the intro. Like, I figured that, that would be cool. dope, you know. And that yeah. give you a little introduction, like. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, dude. You know, just, just special occasions, like, just special <laughs> guests. like Special just, lighting. You tell me yeah, right by a water slide right now that we've been sitting actually, hotel for three days and we have not gone down it I'm and actually, we're not going to be able to. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Norm gave me the ultimatum today. He said. All right, yeah, because we got done filming my video today. It's going to be really funny. It'll That video will be up before this podcast, but you'll know what I'm talking about. It was Plus, a good it has video. like 20-plus fish in it, yeah. which is pretty crazy. Good fish, too. Yeah. yeah. So, he said, all right, what do you want to do, Yak? You want to try to film another video? Or like, what's the move? And I was like, dude, my in- is it intrusive? My intrusive thoughts were telling me <laughs> to go get strawberry daiquiris and hang out in the pool. <laughs> and then I was like, no, nah, we can't do that. Let's go try to fish. And we ended up, you called a six? Yeah, Tonight? I caught a six, and I caught, like, a two-pounder. Yeah, maybe I caught two two-pounders, two A little yeah. bit of change, but... Caught, they were healthy, and they looked good, though. Nothing tonight. Nothing tonight? No. You've been waxing them all yeah, week, you, though, Yeah, so. you get all your catching yeah. out of the way the first two days, I about to say, probably especially the first day. Fish in the yeah, I soaked them the first day. Yeah, that was reckless how, how just Like, nasty. numbers yeah. was. Dude, and we have to come back here in March. March. I think we absolutely have to. Maybe even February, too. Uh, yeah, well, no, nah, it's expensive for February. Good yeah, God. True. Is it really? Yeah, Why? spring break. Oh, like like uh, maybe, I don't know. Two years ago when we came, it was like, dude, it was crazy. And I was like. Mid-March is spring break so for Florida, so I probably wouldn't go then. I looked it up for four nights here. Mm-hmm. It's uh, cheaper than it was for what? four nights right now. I bet you could probably get Airbnb here for way better off than you Yeah, but you're paying. Jail. You're at a resort right now. You're paying for it. You get all yeah, this stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Especially if, if Bella Gunner and uh, and Lexi Nava and Jack is going to be with, like, me. And yeah, you. if you got the kids and stuff. Yeah, dude, they can, while we're working, while we're working during the day. They got all like, this. They got everything. Dude, they yeah. got, they got this golf over there. And there's have, a, they don't even and have to leave. Like, uh, we're in the splash zone. Did you tell them about that? Yeah, I that? did. I was like, yeah. hopefully it don't splash <laughs> yeah. up randomly. I, I hope there's a button that they use to turn it off or it's on a sensor or something for, like, the night. Because no, the pool so. closes at 10, so hopefully this does, too. If not, all this camera gear and podcast equipment is going to be yeah, running. Yeah, I was just wondering, like, if they have to run it, like, once every six hours just to keep it going. It's just like, that's not gonna be good. That'd Probably be tragic. not. But it is kind of funny that we have this whole thing with tons of electronics set up on on a splash little, pad on the splash pad that all the kids run yeah. through. Yeah, that's uh, oof, Lord have mercy, dude. Push right touch. I'm gonna I'll change it up to like a weird topic real quick, dude. Watch this, just all as soon as you touch it, it just splooshed. Um, dude, skump. Yeah, you retired. retired. Yeah. Bro, chop, like he's younger than me, but I like still kind of grew up on the internet, like watching Skump, dude. Yeah, I think We're everybody tired. who played Call of Duty, like Black Ops Two, they, or like that era, yeah, like has to know who Skump is. Would you Would you agree that Skump is the goat? Yeah, he's, he's yeah, the yeah, best I, Call of Duty player of all time. Yeah, I don't even yeah. think any competition, no, man. None, dude. I really don't. I no. mean, there's a ton of really great players who maybe could beat him now, but just like the amount of time he did it. And yeah. to be the first who did it too, like that, you know what I mean? Goat status. To have a name like that, um, and win as much as he did for as long as he did. I mean, that's the definition of a goat. Like yeah, to be able to sure. you can to be the best at something consistently, and he was that. So, dude, congrats to Skump. That was insane. Uh, uh, insane career. I mean, I'd probably absolutely. kill him on a search and destroy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what you search and destroy? I think I'd take him, dude. Dude, I might be able to. I'm not gonna lie. Prime me in Call of Duty. Back when I used to compete, maybe if we were playing up to 30, I might be able to get, like, eight to nine kills on him. Bro, I'd maybe. I'd probably get, like, four. Maybe if I was lucky, dude. If, oh, getting skunk? Yeah. Oh, dude, in my prom, if we were doing a free-for-all at Nuketown, yeah. just me and him, a 1v1 free-for-all, um, in my prom, I'm, I got at least three on him. I got yeah. at least, I'll body him at least three times. Your prime point seven nine KD. Point seven, not bro. I got pictures right here in my favorite folder. Hold up, 
Don't do that to me. Dude, <laughs> hold talking? up. Oh, a 3.18, that's tough, dude. A 3.18 with a 530 score per minute, dude? That's it, bro. Trey, there has never been a call of duty you had a 3 plus KD. <laughs> You're right. I know. You're so right. I know, bro. He's just never. I, never. I just pushed you hard, dude. Not to brag, but I did have like hard. a 13 KD in Call of Duty Ghosts. Dude, um, look. And I'll pull up the PlayStation 3 to prove it. Only 19 nuclears. Yeah, dude. <laughs> look at my win. Look at my win loss, bro. The hardcore domination, a 172 game streak, win streak. Damn. On hardcore Dom. That man was closing the app every time he was about to lose. Yep. <laughs> no, sure was, no, dude. no. Dashboard. Yeah. It was called that Dashboard. Man popped the perkaholic yeah. and instantly <laughs> no. went down. It was called Dash. It was called Dashboard. Oh, no, we didn't dashboard. dash, bro. That's when I played with KC ha- and Swag and all that. You have to. Uh, you have to dashboard though, like because no, you can get thrown in at, in like the last twenty seconds of a game and just lose, and you lose your win streak. Like back then, they didn't have it. Work no, it didn't out. count like that. It even said that on the Black Ops Two screen. It didn't <sighs> count. If you join mid match, it wouldn't count as a loss. Yeah, that's always been a thing for sure, bro. That's why I like. That's why I like. I like hardcore 100%. domination. What's your favorite game mode in Call of Duty? I already know the answer, but let's hear it. I mean, search is just so much fun. Search is fun. Any Call of Duty players out there? I like domination or something. I like hardcore hard dom, dude. Hard point. Okay, hard hardcore cool. hard point. Yeah, I'm a hardcore player, but actually, this new Call of Duty I've been playing a little bit at Norm's house every time we're there, and this new Call of Duty core is actually not that bad. Black Ops Two core, you had to empty a fuck. I almost cussed. You had to empty a freaking magazine, a 30-round magazine, into somebody to kill them in core. And I just didn't like that. So yeah, I always played hardcore. Two tap, so. And what yeah. then? In uh, Black Ops 2. It was so hard. It was like, you had so many bullets had to connect versus Dom. Or not Dom, excuse me. I'm all over the place tonight. I'm so, I got a lot on my mind. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to Disney World tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyways, I'm going to just stop is, talking about it. Core is the game mode, though. Like, yeah. you have to play core, not hardcore. Hardcore is easier. Easier? Is no, harder. no, it's hard, hardcore, bro. It's easier to die. Hardcore is extremely easier. That's why they play pro matches in core, because you have to connect with more shots. So even if you get the first drop on somebody, it's all about accuracy. Yeah, accuracy, and I suck at accuracy. Yeah, I, exactly. I got to spray and pray, dog. Which makes it easier. You could, you could just use a shotgun in hardcore and just kind of aim and kill somebody instantly. Okay. But you have to have more skill in core. That's why they I agree. play all the comps in I agree. core. I agree. But hardcore is kind of fun to run up some kill streaks though. Yeah, sure. some kill streaks. Yeah, camo grind. I would say uh Yeah, it's best for camos. Dude. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Especially like pistol headshots. Like dude, pistol dude, headshots. I saw a TikTok and this could be completely wrong, but I think like formal and all the guys retired. Like Really? All of them. Like the whole team. Unless it was just like it might have just been some clickbait, some spoof stuff, thing. But Sounds like it's the perfect time to start a gaming YouTube channel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's exactly what Scum's about to do. I can promise you that. Oh, he's already got one. He's already got his gaming no, channel. No, I got, know he's got a gaming channel. He's about to start uploading to his yeah, gaming yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's got two and a half million subs. Yeah, is. yeah which like, is it blows my mind actually. Uh, Scump was also one of those people that. Uh, and when I say take a break, I don't mean take a break. He just put his focus elsewhere. Like, he put his focus in competitive Call of Duty play rather than uploading YouTube videos. Um, and obviously, he's the go to Call of Duty, so it made sense for him to do that. But he, I don't know how he's not at like eight, nine, ten million subs. I'm trying to think of a lot of the gamers that are. There's not a lot of gamers who stick Ali to... LEA's got like 20 million, don't there's he? There's not a lot of gamers that stick to one game, one game category, like a Call of Duty title, that get to that many subscribers. Okay, is fair. That's fair. Do you see a gaming YouTuber? Uh, uh, well, yes, games, but he plays but, everything. Yeah, like, that's the thing, like, Speed plays everything. He plays everything. stuff you've like, never heard Man, of. Vanoss plays C-Day, everything. Fortnite YouTuber? C-Day, yeah. yeah. That was legendary. That man got like 10 million views per upload. It's nuts, dude. He just retired, like, off of just five videos. It seemed. Literally. Yeah, he just said, I'm out. I'm out, boys. Peace, bro. Yeah. I'm going to make the best Fortnite content, and then I'm going to leave y'all to it. Dude, who else was a good Fortnite YouTuber? Um, Oh, God. TSM. Uh, Daquan. Daquan was Unicos! hilarious. <laughs> um, OG Ninja was dope. Ooga, Nick Merckx. Tim the Tat Man. Yeah. All them boys was just funny, man. Those two are my favorite. Uh, Nick and uh, Tim. All them boys was hilarious. They was they was just on another level. Tim's uh, probably one of the best streamers, if not the best streamer. You know, did he not get the kind of Alex Perrick treatment where like all the boys in his little friend group, the ninja thing, did he not ever get the, you don't think he ever got the treatment where he got picked on the most? Like oh. and he and he kind of just bounced back and ended up being the best out of all of them. 
Maybe so they pick on him uh, for like not being as good as they are. Yeah, but it's all because he's the best entertainer out of all of them. So I think okay, that makes sense. I think it's part. I think it's all part of the act. I think it's all part of like. Could, a, oh, bro, it's all so- it's all part of the playing into the character. So he plays it. You know what I mean? Kind of dumb. But then they kind of have Cloaksy, who's part of their group, like him and Nick and Courage. Will play. Cloaksy's dope too. You like, know, remember, you remember watching? Kind of seems like the end of the stick kind of joke guy. Like yeah. he's really good at the game. But but isn't like a, a good talker. A good I talker, guess. Yeah. yeah. I remember watching him and uh, Tifu in the Fortnite championships. Yeah. And bro, they were just gangsters, bro. Just mobbing. I, look, I'm a grown man. You hate on me if you want to. I don't care. Fortnite. I, I love Fortnite and it's prime. I couldn't play it right now because it's trash. You're trash, kid. <laughs> but but uh, Fortnite and Fortnite, dude. Dude, Fortnite and peak Fortnite, dude. Come on. That was yeah, my Fortnite that was. was my jam, bro. I love Fortnite. I liked it too. I played up to like. The new map is when I stopped season playing. Season two. Uh, whatever. Just whenever no, the new it was map chapter two the season. Black, the black, you remember the black hole and we like stared at it for like three hours? It's like completely wasted our day. Yeah, bro. It, we, we put a lot of like time. That was like 2018, 19-ish time frame. We put so much time into that game, bro. I was trying to stream too at that point. Yeah. And I was I had a, I had a yak pack. I think a yak pack outdoors is what it Twitch. might have been called. Twitch. And I was streaming. Dude, one time I had like 70 viewers, bro. 77, really? 77 to be exact. And I was like, oh, bro, I'm geeking. I'm geeking. That's pretty crazy. But it, they were only there for like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I seen how trash we were. And there's was like, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I, uh, I built a fish trap out of a Lego Walmart, uh, bought in Walmart Fortnite uh, bus. I built a fish trap out of it with Ryan. <laughs> he calls some puffer fish. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> Wow, what content was back then? Uh no, dude. I thought it was cool though. It was it was put, pretty cool idea. I even started another YouTube channel called The Fishing Challenge. Really? I got 300 I subs in, that. like that day. I ended up giving my buddy uh that channel. I don't know what he does with it now, but I think he's a car guy or something now, but I gave that to him because it had been I uploaded one video on it. Yeah, and then I, I realized I was like, dang, I really do not need to take the focus away from Yak Pack and try to start another channel, just like I did with Reckless and Rowdy. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb, but it's with me forever, dog. Reckless and Rowdy <laughs> tattooed on, yeah, baby, Let's go. for the brand. No, I still rock with the uh, Reckless and Rowdy TikTok, dude. Yeah, I'll rock that. And my Reckless and Rowdy Instagram also just hit a thousand followers. I'm not gonna say it's a big deal. All right, chill out. Easy, but it's easy. kind of a big deal. But I have not put the keys in that can am in probably the last time I rode. When was the last time I rode? About four or five months ago, dude. It's been a minute. No October. Way. No, yeah. it was October, yeah. Late, late October. Pickups. It was late. No, excuse me. Did you not do me. it like a New Year's ride or something? Nope, I sure didn't. I showed it, and I was at Joe House for New Year's, cuz. You were. I put Dang. it down, bro. I put it down. It was, a, it was an addicting drug, that can am was, and I put it down. That's good. All right. I put it down because it was causing problems. It just I was putting too much focus into that can am. <laughs> but when I did it, boy, it was fun. It was pretty fun. I'm telling you, dude. I, hey, hey, well, how fun. big is that hill? I can't even see the top. I just yeah, I hit it. I hit it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, can am was crazy. I wish you had a row with me in it. I'm about to sell it as soon as uh as soon as I can get back up to Georgia. Yeah. I have to put like a piece back in it, the front diff. It controls like the four wheel drive, the two yeah. front wheels. I got to put that back in it, and then I'm gonna post it for sale. And I don't even care. I literally don't even care to make any money off of it. I don't care to make a penny. Just whatever. I have to call and see what I owe on it. I have no idea, but whatever I owe on it, that's the exact amount I want. And then you just literally take it away from me. So if you want a can am, I got one for sale. A nasty can am. A nasty that. one. It's literally the best. Like it is a crawling machine. I bought it as a mud machine and then turned it into a rock crawler, hill climber. But so anyway, got the best of the best of. Everything. everything yeah it's insane I, but dude i i don't even want to say it out loud it makes me sick when i think about how much money i put in that thing yeah please don't say it out loud i, I get mad too yeah it makes me sick anyways <laughs> norm <laughs> bought a rolex last night dude norm almost did buy a rolex I did last not, night dude. no you you it they was a joke a, at first they had him way overpriced like he was trying to sell me eight thousand dollar rolexes for 30 grand. it also didn't help that when we walked in the store i was like do you know who this guy is yeah that was <laughs> he does that yeah, everywhere we bro. go and it's the most annoying thing ever because i won't even know it's happening and so the watch dealer runs up to me he's like 
oh, you're the famous guy. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I have a fishing channel. She told me why. She's like, oh, this is 80,000. It's probably nothing to you. I was like, dude, I don't know what you think happens on fishing YouTube, but it's not that. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't 80,000 80, is not nothing. <laughs> ain't, yeah, ain't no smooth 80,000 nowhere. Yeah, Boy, um, I wish. But, yeah, no, I've been, I don't know. I think watches are a good thing to invest in. I like to a diversify watch uh, everything. You know, you have a little bit in stocks. Uh, a watch is, could be a good investment. But Can't every am. investment could go up or down. That's the point of an investment. But I feel like not in real estate and stuff, too, not tying your money up into all one thing. Yeah. And uh, a watch is a wearable investment. You can enjoy it when you walk into rooms and stuff. People just know that you have that stature. So I have been looking at uh, some Rolexes. Yeah. But you should reward yourself it, at the end of the year. One that could be an investment at a, a desired model. So, Dude, don't listen. You don't even have to worry about that. If I win the Powerball, I got you. Yes. If I win the Powerball, I'm, I'm you're gonna get the dumbest Rolex ever. It's gonna be <laughs> I don't even know how expensive Rolexes get, but it's gonna be that one. Like it's gonna be a one of one. I'm gonna have a Richard Millie on each wrist, dog. Yeah, just because if I yeah, win that Powerball, are ridiculous. Pff, is it one point three five billion dollars? You know KSI hey. has a Richard Millie? Like the cheapest one they make, but he has one. That's insane. It's like a hundred and eighty thousand, I think. That's crazy. You know, I think that's a good that's another uh that's another good little topic we can go off on real quick. All right, so the current lottery right now, which is I think getting announced tomorrow, so it'll probably somebody will probably win it. Hopefully, me. But please, one point three five million dollars. You can either take that over twenty nine years. You can take payments, or you can take a massive tax lump sum of like seven hundred and eighty or seven hundred eighty two million dollars. Right. So let's just go ahead and round it down to seven hundred fifty million dollars. Let's say you, Norm, fishing with Norm, wins seven hundred fifty yeah. million dollars tomorrow. What What do you do? Uh, give me no, no, no. Hold up, before you answer that question, give me the irresponsible answers because that's <laughs> what I'm here for. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Well, realistically, man, I put, I put six hundred million of it away. Yep. Never touch it. Just leave it. You could leave it in a freaking savings account that gives you four percent, and you're making so many millions every single year that you're yeah. set for life. So that'd be the first step. But if I were to spend it. Uh, obviously, buy a big house with a lake on it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, you mean like a pond? Or you mean like a lake? I mean like a lake. Yeah, yeah I maybe, so. maybe a couple. Yeah, maybe a couple. Maybe, yeah, a, couple maybe, a, couple. maybe a couple houses too on each yeah. lake. Why not? Um, yeah, I definitely do that. Buy some cars. Buy some watches. If you could, if you okay, because I know, I know you're very Pokemon, frugal. Uh, booster box. I know you I would buy, do that. I buy one of those. I know you're very few frugal, and you wouldn't like. Norm has never once ever in the four or five years we've known each other, never once has he been like, dude, I really want this new truck, or like, I've been looking at this new car, like, I sold drive the same truck since before I started YouTube five years ago. Exactly. Yeah. So, if you had the $750 million, and it, it, you were just dummy rich. Like, what would be your first car that you think you bought? Like, for Gosh, you, dude. like... I'm a big, um, I'm a big McLaren fan, man. I okay, love there you go. That's that's so cool. Probably, that's 280 grand. Yeah, yeah. I probably get a, a G wagon. I think it would be like my truck, kind of would be like a G. Okay, I like that to the grocery. And they store are tough. Back. Whistling Diesel showed that they are very G wagons are tough. Yeah, they are very tough. And I think, I mean, dude, honestly, if I have, like, I could not think of anything else to spend money on besides buying a crazy house, a uh, a boat, a. Nasty. Bro. I don't know. I got want six four fifty R's. I just want a bass boat. I don't even want like a real. Maybe I get an offshore boat just for fun. I want yeah. a lake and bay. A la- I don't even know what that is. It's like a center console, like a flats boat center console, but you slap a four fifty R on the back and it runs a hundred. Bro, if I got seven hundred fifty million dollars, you finna put six four fifty R's on the back for me. <laughs> you, got, you got my like. Come on now. <laughs> I don't even, dude. I don't even want anything like at all. Either. I just want a truck, dude. I like, would. I, t- I, I, I six, would. Seven what would you? Truck. What would you? Uh, First, irresponsible thing, I would buy a 6, 7 Power Stroke. I don't want no crazy cars, dude. I like going fast way too much. I'll hurt myself. In a, yeah, that's in a crazy smart. Car. That's very smart. Um, I Yeah, like dude, that. I would definitely have a garage slam full of boats. So one boat for each activity. Yeah, that's... Oh, we're going pond hopping today? Don't worry about that. I got a 2023 yeah, Phoenix with a 350 cool. on it. <laughs> yeah. Good little pond hopping, yeah. Nice truck. Yeah. And, like, a lot of rental properties... Airbnbs yeah. oh, that dude. I could also stay at, have one in yeah. each destination. I'd oh, like to go. I'd I like think a visit. private jet would be really cool, dude. I couldn't because buy a PJ. I, I, even I if like I had, had that, money. if you have seven hundred fifty million and there's nothing else to spend it on, I mean, obviously the correct answer, like if we're not talking about just blowing money, the correct answer would be you buy a ton of companies and you try to see how far you could take it. 
kind of do like an Elon Musk thing and start creating things to like go to space or yeah. like yeah, solve yeah, yeah, yeah. actual world problems. But if you were like doing the lottery question on like being selfish, oh, yeah. there's, I don't even think, man, oh. after you buy a house, a house, a car, you could have all the watches you ever wanted. I don't, I can't think of anything else. I'm like buying clothes. that island in Nicaragua, dude. Oh, the yeah. $450,000 yeah, island. Buying. Dude, this pocket change, bro. You got $750 million, bro. You ain't going to know $450,000 is gone. Yeah, you ain't like going to know. That's like getting a milkshake. That's like getting a milkshake at McDonald's. You just ain't even going to know it's gone. No, it just crazy. doesn't even disappear. I think a smart thing I would do is, uh, like I was telling you, or it's like, was it $30 million? I'm 32 right now. I would put $30 million in an account that I could not touch till I was legally, like I, they would not unlock this account till I was 35. And then this, another $30 million, couldn't touch till I was 40. Another 30, 45. Another 30, 50. And I would set myself for life like that. I would also, I, without buying a house, a vehicle, or a boat, I would see how fast I could spend a million dollars. Yeah. No house, no vehicle, no boat. So yeah. take the big three things out of the equation. How fast can I spend a million bucks? And I'm talking, it would be dummy. And obviously, I would I would also take out of that equation. Like, uh, can't go spend a million dollars on a Richard Milley because that you know that you could do that in thirty seconds. But yeah, I would just try to see how much dumb stuff I could buy for a million dollars, <laughs> and I'd probably give it away. I I would definitely buy, uh, hire an entire like camera crew to just follow me yeah. every day and just film my entire life, and then have like a Mr. Beast video. But you're posting that quality every single day. That'd like it would be it would be nuts. It would be crazy. Well, dude, I think. I think Mr. Beast got access to a billion dollars this year. He did. I heard that. He yeah. was going to put his companies together and uh, get access to a... He was, I think he said he was going to put everything he's got into one entity co like entity company and uh, get a percentage of it, which would equate to a, roughly a billion dollars, and he was going to somehow give that away. Not maybe to all, all to one yeah. person, but like he's going to do something big to get that billion dollars to give away. I would imagine he's probably going to do a lot of things along the lines of like trying to do something good for Earth, whatever that may mean, uh, maybe some sort of space travel, and then helping out people in need. Those are the top three things I could yeah. for sure see him doing. Dude, okay, so here's my actual answer if I got $750 million, all right? Here we go. So first thing off the rip, I retire everybody who helped me like along the way, which is a very small circle, yep. but I would retire the circle, make sure everybody was good for life. Uh, then make sure I was good for life, invest literally every single thing. I'd maybe play around with, uh, with $5 million and with 5 million, I get myself maybe 10, maybe 15, get myself a house, get myself the car, get myself the watch, yeah. get myself a couple of, of everything. And then some nice clothes. Yeah. Um, like just more Yeezys probably. <laughs> yeah, just more Yeezys. For, yeah, and just like Lululemons. Um, you would own Lulu. <laughs> after I did that, if I had seven hundred something million, I'd try to maybe start a TV show. I'd try to start. That would like, be dope. I'd probably buy a ton of apartment complexes, storage unit, uh, uh, facilities. Just see how much I could own, but Car really wash. try to create something media wise. Car washes for me. Maybe I make a movie. Maybe I make that like a like a TV series, like a Survivor type thing. That'd be dope. But with that money, I could kind of fund anything and just go have fun with it and try to create. Yeah. So I don't know what it would be, but I would definitely start thinking about creating. But the first step to all that would be to hire one of the best accountants in the world. Oh, of course. To get all the money working, but I would definitely have. 500 million of it just sitting just yeah. re printing money for me yeah. for the rest of my life literally i mean that's not dude at for, 500 you still have yeah. 250 million left. i toss all the boys five mil so oh, 500 dude, and like a couple like of other guys generational dude yeah just make sure everybody's good and it would be so cool too if like i don't know if one of us won the lottery and then like say hey i was like dude i have this idea like i want to go buy something but it's like a million dollars, yeah. but we're going to go buy a cruise ship or something. Yeah, buy a cruise ship. Yeah, and we yeah, yeah. content on it. I would be like, let's go do that and then not even worry about the yeah the money because we're creating something. So. It would be insane, bro. Yeah, that's what I would probably do. Dude, but the, I don't think my life would change all that much, honestly. With $750 million, the, I think I would upgrade my house and my car. Yeah. But th after that, I still have the same mindset of, like, I want to go make stuff. The only thing that would change for me is I would just – um I would still film a hundred million percent. Like I feel like I was put on this earth to do that. Uh, yeah. I would still film, but I would travel like the world and be. I'd be doing the same. Yeah, I'd just I just be filming. I'd still be doing. I feel like I'd still do this, and I just have the money sitting for later when I'm like, I want to go travel the world because I just yeah. feel like I want to go travel fish right now. Yeah, but I might go travel the world for like vacation experience later on in life. You know what I yeah. mean? And then I would also bring everybody. With oh me, yeah, you dude, know what for I mean? sure. Like. 
I would have to. Like, I think that would be so cool to, like. A million percent. I yeah. know what I would do outside of, like, buying a truck and a house is that's 100% going to be chasing fish. Yeah. All it's over the world. Change. All over the world, dude. Just chasing fish. Yeah, I'm going to the craziest places yeah. on earth. I'm going. I na- you right. name it, I'm going. If I gotta take a fishing rod, put it on my side, and jump out of an airplane to access this spot, <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm I want to go catch the crazy stuff. Everything. I want to catch everything. Dude. Imagine if you caught everything. Is it possible? Every species in the well, world think fishing about, challenge. <laughs> think about uh, the guy River Monsters. Yeah, I think their show ran out of seasons. Ran out of monsters because they ran out of monsters to go chase. They they did everything you can do on Earth. That's like sick. is that not a, like if you got all this money? Is it not a scary thought? Especially if we got it around this age where we still have so much time, double, triple our lives left to live, quadruple our lives left to live. Is that not like such a scary thought to even think that you can travel maybe, the whole world like, and if you have that much money the that list. yeah that's insane it's possible it's yeah. possible that's what dude, that's what I kind of like I don't want to run out of like the love for fishing just because I don't I've think caught it's possible dude but, I think it's just yeah deeply and even sometimes dude, when I'm frustrating with fish like frustrated with fishing like a day like two days go by and I'm like gosh I gotta go fishing yeah again. I gotta like, go I just, I, I gotta I'm itching go. for it. Even, like, the most terrible day, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just part of it, dude. It's part of the experience. Yeah. yeah. I would buy a couple. I would, I'd buy all. I would suit all the boys up with their own house, Rolex, car, and $2 million in retirement that they could put in a SEP IRA and just have it make 4% each year. Bro, I think I'm just, I think I might just be generous or something. I don't know. If I'd have won seven hundred fifty million dollars, you'd have had a fifty million dollar. I give you probably, bro. Probably no, bro, you'd have had too. a fifty million dollar suitcase of, of money. You're old, that bro. I'd have put, I'd have, I'd have filled your entire living room in one dollar bills. <laughs> I would, and, and I would have made sure, do? bro. I would buy you a house and I'd fill it, dude, with speed worms and the gulp magic sauce, dude. The whole Ooh, entire house, bro. Course, the whole dude. entire thing. I'd fill, I'd fill it with that. That's feral, Norm. I would, Why would yeah. you do that? I would do some reckless stuff, bro. I would have somebody make you a truck that, like, a 2023 F450 that looks like a rattle trap, bro. Like, <laughs> I would, I would do that, some that's stupid. probably what would, in reality, end up happening with the money. Is we'd probably just start building the stupid dumbest stuff. things. We'd be like, can you? make a rattle trap car yes yeah. the Char- no. the charizard uh cyber truck yeah i would <laughs> I, I would make a lot of things pokemon and a lot of things gosh what's the other thing i legos i would probably yeah. try to make the biggest lego collection of all time that would be wild with that 750 wild. million Dude, i'd seven. buy lego that i bet they're, they're no that's millions. a billion dollar company yeah actually. that's there ain't no chance i saw it'd be crazy to it'd be crazy to even know Dude, I feel like I would be so jealous if I kn- somebody won that lottery and I knew that person. Like, I would be so yeah. jealous because they're like, people are going to get stingy. You know what I mean? Like, you get that mm-hmm. amount of money, you're just going to get stingy. You're going to forget everybody. I'm just not like that. I wasn't raised like that. I can't conduct myself like that. Like, mm-hmm. the, like yeah, I think it can make you sad if you all that money and you cut everybody out. At least, like, knowing yeah. who, like, the real people are and who yeah. the big ones are. But Yeah, that's that's that'll definitely, yeah. No, I just... I done told. I was like, bro, my mom and dad obviously would be set forever and always. My brother and his wife, a hundred percent. And then like, you get fifty million. You get fifty million. Like, yeah. I'm just, I'm just because, bro. What? Like, I'm gonna spend that money doing stuff with y'all, anyways. Like, why? I ain't, yeah, sure. It's like, why? If I'm gonna be out doing all this goofy stuff, like, why would y'all not? I if I'm eating, the boys gotta eat. That's just For what sure. it is. Always. Right? I would also have a lot more leg tattoos. I promise you that. My whole leg would be a bunch <laughs> of goofy stuff. Dude. It would be goofy. Dude, you get the whole body sleeve. Dude, I would be I would be making you bets like Norm, I give you a million dollars to get this tattoo right now. It's like a yeah, little circle. And like I a little definitely circle. would probably do it. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> now I'd be like, yo, I'll give you a million, I'll give you another million dollars if you get it laser removed, just because I'm curious and I want to see how that works. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I would be doing the dumbest stuff ever. I guess that's how a lot of people that win the lottery go broke. Yeah, they, they, almost all of them do. So you definitely have to be smart about it, but I think... Set the investments up right and it'd be almost impossible. Yeah. yeah. Well, moving right along, I reckon. Trey. Trey, you got a little, you got a little story to tell. I got a prize, dude. Trey hit a, a hit a lick, a menacing devious. lick, a devious lick here in 2023. <laughs> Some would say it would be the most devious lick of 2023 so, so far. far. Yeah, so far. A lot more in the year to go, but yeah. 
Anyways, what what was your uh, what have you done, Trey? What have you done? So it's uh, you know it's nothing insane, nothing out of this, you know, out of the ordinary. <laughs> but my boy Norm decided to take the boys out to eat on a fine dinner. It was great too. It's great dinner. Planet Hollywood, in Orlando. Good atmosphere. Delicious. Crazy play. Crazy things. Seen Happy Gilmore's. Uh, that was really his cool. jersey his and jersey, the hockey stick Happy signed. Gilmore. Muhammad uh, Ali signed gloves. Boxing gloves. Home Alone sled. Home bro. Alone sled. Oh, there was so much. The door to like, the Titanic was there. Yeah, bro, yeah. bro, bro Jack, hold up now. Jack had room on that door. Jack had room <laughs> that on that door. That was a big door. Bro, he had room on dude, that door. Stormtroopers from Mandalorian. Yeah. Uh, oh, everything. dude, the actual Spider Man from the Amazing Spider Man Three was, was right when you walked yeah. in. Yeah, yep. I got a picture of it. I took a picture of it. Yeah, that was nuts, dude. That was actually crazy to see all that stuff. Like all that movie memorabilia. Bad. All of it. Hunger yeah. Games. Uh, Hunger Games. Kind of yeah, like, uh, the dress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Breaking Bad one was really cool. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. A so whole bunch of stuff. We but- all order all this good, delicious food, and we usually always try to get something different, and we'll kind of pick off each other's plates if, like, Norm gets something, Trail gets something different, and I get something completely different, and then it's like, oh, that looks good. Let me get a bite. Yeah, blah, we blah, like whatever. sample the whole menu. Trey got, uh, <laughs> what, did you, what was it? It was barbecue... Yeah, black ribs. And ribs. Yeah. yeah, some kind of barbecue blackened or honey barbecue honey blackened barbecue or something. Yeah, blackened something like ribs. That. Anyway, I got a rack of meat. Yeah. And it was served to me on this right here. Yeah, Cue I'll pop picture. a picture up. Yeah. <laughs> a a miniature <laughs> well handcrafted picnic, picnic table. table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Trey looked at us and he said, I'm finna take this. <laughs> and I was like, Ah, over under one and a half. Over under. You think he's gonna take it or not? I Norm did, yeah, Norm I said like, nah. nah he's not Nick was it. like, ah, I don't know. I think Nick said yes, and then I was like, dude, yeah, he'll take it. <laughs> dude, they was betting against me, so I had to make it a point that I was gonna take it at that point. And uh, I'm sure some of you guys out there have went to went out to eat at a restaurant, uh, found a cool glass, and slipped it in your wife's purse or put it in your hoodie pocket. <laughs> I sure. think you're overestimating how many people have done this. No, before. dude, I'm not I don't the only one. Like a, I don't think I, I don't think it's uncommon. I just don't think it's a normal thing. That it's like a normal everybody's, thing. Dude. Everybody's like, yeah, dude, y'all got to let us know down in the comments. That's, is that a normal thing to take glassware and like stuff like that from restaurants? It's got to be, dude. It's got to be. I know Mason's sister has a collection of like 150 glasses she's taken from like every time oh she's gone God. out and ate. So like, it is it's, common. It's almost like a criminal thing. I feel like a criminal walking in. Norm's just <laughs> got that guilty, yeah. guilty, guilty conscience, conscience in the back yeah. of his head, dude. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just like see a glass I like and I'm like, dang. And we walked away with two of them from Rainforest Cafe. They did. They, they did, were they ours, were though. Yeah, yeah, they, they were, were included. included. Yeah. <laughs> but Trey, anyways, continue. My bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, get the bill. Everybody walks out. TJ's like, dude, it's time. I said, oh, yeah, I know it's time. So, left-hand tuck, and we left marched out the door. <laughs> and I flexed it at the sign. Outside, I took a picture in front of Planet Hollywood. Literally took a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, taunting Holding them. it over his head. And I was Nick like, Nick oh had God. a whole photo shoot. So, we're in the middle of downtown Disney. If you guys don't know downtown Disney, it's like, it's super busy. Like, Disney's tons of people. Busy. And tons of people are walking. So, Yak gets picture. the picnic table. I'm sure we'll have a whole thing pop oh, up. Oh, yeah. And he's sitting in the middle of the sidewalk, like right on this like more narrow bridge. Not like a really narrow bridge, but in comparison to everywhere else you walk, it's pretty narrow. Yak's sitting down, posing with the picnic table, and we're having a full-blown photo shoot like it's a wedding. And I just was thinking it was the funniest thing ever. Not that Trey stole a picnic table from a restaurant, it was but just comical. the fact that we did a photo shoot outside. <laughs> and I didn't even know you took it until I came out after uh, with I was the or whatever. I was I holding it up for above yeah. my head like Yeah, this. I come and walk out the restaurant, <laughs> yeah. and Trey has a picnic table, because we were joking about, like, 15 minutes ago. I was like, there's no way. I come out, and Trey's, like, holding it up like a 10-pounder, dude. He's just yeah. he's like, yeah! <laughs> like, dude, I don't know how wow. the lady at the front desk didn't, like, there see There was, like, five know. checkpoints. We weren't in the front. Of, we were in the back of the restaurant. You had to walk past every Everything, employee everybody, in that yeah. establishment to get out. So that's why I didn't think it was going to happen. Dude, it's tough being a G. It's tough being a G. Tough being a G. Now it's going to be here with us all year long, man. Just taking it everywhere. How about say, it it is now an icon. And maybe we should set it somewhere or carry it with us. Maybe it's the the Real Deal podcast, Good Luck Charm. I don't know. But we might have to incorporate that in every podcast from now on. But anyways, boys, listen. It's a short podcast tonight. We've been going so hard this week. Um... And we got to get up early tomorrow morning. 
Boys, I'm tired. We've been going so hard. We got to get up early in the morning to go to Disney World, guys. I mean, yeah, but that's that's the thing. Struggling, dude. No, it's that's an earned the thing. Disney World trip. It's an bro. earned Disney World trip. We've been it is. Cranking. And plus, my video, dude, I was giving away a Disney trip, so it works out. Even though I won, <laughs> that I just take everybody to Disney anyway. <laughs> dude, you did. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so it kind of. I'm pretty sure that video is going to be up before this podcast. I'm pretty sure it should be. I yeah. hope so, man. But bro, yes, I forgot, dude. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. You yeah. did win that. So I'm going to have to give away another trip, too, after another all of us go Disney as well. Trip, yeah, to a subscriber. So yeah. so we got to go to the gra- grass station, gas station in the morning and get some yeah. snacks because it's very dude, expensive. We were, looking, we were looking, dude, a hot dog, a regular, like a gas station hot dog, $15 without oh, a drink or side. Yeah, Just a hot the dog, like on their website. Bro, a slice of pizza, like 18 bucks. If you guys are coming to Disney World this spring or summer, you can, in fact, bring... Uh, your own snacks, your own like PB and J or t- ham and turkey sandwiches. That's the move. You so can much you can money. definitely do that, and I promise you guys, um, it, it'll not save good. you. It will save you hundreds at, at of World. dollars. No, and it's really not. It's just it's very generic good. and very overpriced. I remember paying. Uh, I literally got a cheeseburger with ketchup at um, Universal Studios, like the big kid one, like yeah. Universal Studios. Uh, cheeseburger with ketchup, uh, just that, like something you would get in high school. Uh, it was like seventeen dollars and fifty cents or something like that, yeah. and I was like, bro. But like, then you you take into account like, if you take if you've got you know, let's say you take you got a wife and three kids, like, dude, you're spending hundreds of dollars on $200. food. Take your snacks if you're going this year. But anyways, I'm finna take my snack behind. Uh, upstairs oh, to the bed. To the sleeper. To the sleeper. I still got to plan out the whole night, dude. I'm gonna stay for another thirty minutes. I think I'm the planning hotel all lobby the has chocolate milk, dude. Where did that come from? No, they close at midnight, don't they? No, bro, don't tell me that. Stop. It's eleven thirty right now. Oh, we got time. Oh, yeah, we, got we time. might need. To I book think it. it's. I think they close at midnight. The little shot. If they got chocolate milk, then I'm finna bust down. I'm finna just engulf it, dude. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, listening, watching, viewing, liking, subscribing to the number one fishing podcast in the world. We're tired. We're going to sleep. And we're going to Disney World tomorrow. We'll catch y'all on the next adventure. Peace. Love you. Peace. Peace.